Apple and pumpkin picking aren't the only popular fall festivities these days. The hard cider business is booming. Hard cider is it's a fermented apple product. We start with naturally pressed apple juice, which is naturally gluten-free, uh, which is another big draw why the product is such, so fast growing in this day and age. A lot of people have gluten allergies or food allergies, but it's basically it's a refreshing, hard, carbonated apple juice. Hard cider has been gaining traction. The cider market was valued at $10,667 million in 2016 and is expected to reach $16,252 million by 2023, according to a report published by Allied Market Research. The beverage segment market, um, it's tough to be original in any market segment nowadays, um, but I think cider, it's up and coming, it's still relatively new. I think the draw to it is it's a bit more refreshing. I think it's, it's more hip to a younger crowd. The average cider drinker is likely to be younger than the average beer drinker, according to CGA reports. I feel like it's lighter than actual beer. It's not as heavy. It tastes better than beer. It's nice and sweet. <laughs> so, <laughs> easier to get down. The Riverhead Cider House offers 12 original hard ciders for customers to enjoy. And all the apples used for the ciders are grown right here in the state of New York. There are over 800 cider producers located in the U.S. And nearly 100 of those are located right here in New York. For Stony Brook News, I'm Bria Ellis.